Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering 1 Chronicles 4 through 6 and John 6 1 through 21. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it is a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Other clans of Judea. First Chronicles 4. The descendants of Judea. Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Rei, son of Shobal, was the father of Jahath, and Jahath the father of Am- Amui, and Lahad. These were the clans of the Zorthathites. These were the sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Adabash. Their sister was named Hezolipioni. Peniel was the father of Gedor, and Ezer the father of Cushan. Now these were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathen, and father of Bethlehem. Ashur, the father of Tico, had two wives, Hela and Nera. Nera bore him Ahazam, Hephra, Temini, and Hash, or Hahashetaira. These were the descendants of Nerash. The sons of Hila, Zareth, Zohar, Ethan, and Kaz, who was the father of Eneb and Hazabibah and of the clans of Aharal, son of Kuram. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I give birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and in Large my territory, let your hand be with me, and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Caleb, Shahaz's brother, was the father of Maher, who was the father of Ishtan. Ishtan was the father of Beth Rapa, Pesia, and Tehenia, the father of Ur, Mehesh. These were the men of Reka, the son of Kenaz, Othaniel, and Sarehi, the sons of Othaniel, Hetha, and Monetha. Monetha was the father of Oprah. Zariah was the father of Joab, the father of the Hershim. It was called this because its people were skilled workers. The sons of Caleb, son of Japhenia, Er, Ahila, and Nahum. The son of Ahila, Kenaz. The sons of Jehala, Zip, Zipha, Terai, and Asriel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Ephr, and Jalan. One of the Med, uh, Mered's wives gave birth to Miriam. Samari and Ishbath, the father of Ishtamoa. His wife from the tribe of Judea gave birth to 
Jared, the father of Heber, Heber, the father of Silco, and Jekethiel, the father of Zan Zanoah. These were the children of Pharaoh's daughter, Bethlena, whom Mer uh, Merid had married. Merid had married. The sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Naham, the father of Kela, the garment, and Ishtoma, the Mekethite, the sons of Shimon, Ammon, Rena, Benhana, and Telon, the descendants of Aisha. Zohath and Ben Zohath. The sons of Shehala, son of Judea, Ur, the father of Lecha, Leheda, the father of Mershisha, and the clans of Lang, workers at Beth Sheba, Jochum, the man of Kezobeth, and Joash, and Seraph, who ruled in Moab, and Jeshebi Lehim, Jeshebi Lehim. These records are from ancient times. They were the pattern. Uh, they were the potters who lived in Nathim and Gadara. They stayed there and worked. For the king. Simeon, the descendants of Simeon, Namuel, Jemain, Jerib, Zira, and Shahala. Shalom was Shahala's son, Mizbam, his son, and Mish Mishma, his son, the descendants of Mishma, or Mishma. Hamul, his son, Zakura, uh, sorry, Zakakor, his son, and Shimi, his son. Shimi had sixteen sons and sixteen daughters, but his brothers did not have many children, and so their entire clan did not become as numerous as the people of Judea, and they lived in Beersheba, Moloda. Hezra, Shaul, uh, Shaul Bilha, Izim, Toled, Bethul, Horma, Zek, uh, Zekalad, and Beth Makarab, Hezer, uh, I'm sorry, Hezar Susim, Beth Maria, and Sharim. These were their towns until the region of David, or until the reign of David. Their surrounding villages were Etim, Ayim, Roman, Tokan, and Ashen, five towns, and all the villages around these towns as far as Baliath. These were their settlements, and they kept a genealogical record. Mishaba, Jamalak, Joshua, son of Amaz, uh, I'm sorry, Amaza, Joel, Jehu, sons of Je uh, Joshilbia, the son of Shariash, the son of Azir, Az Azil, Jasmil, Benai, and Ziza, son of Shippa, Shippai, the son of Alan, the son of Jedehi, the son of Shemrai, the son of Shemiai. The men listed above by name were leaders of their clans. Their families increased greatly, and they went to the outskirts of Gedor, 
to the east of the valley in search of pastures for live flock uh, for their flocks. They found rich, good pasture, and the land was spacious, peaceful, and quiet. Some Hemites had lived there formerly. The men whose names were listed came in the day of Hezekiah, king of Judea, and they attached, or they attacked the Hemites in their dwellings and also the Meunites who were there and completely destroyed them as is evidenced to this day that then they settled in their place because there was pasture for their flocks and 500 of these Semonites led by Pelatai near high and Uziel, the sons of Ishai, invaded the hill country of Seir. They killed the remaining Amalekites who had escaped, and they have lived there to this day. Reuben, uh, First Chronicles 5. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, he was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's marriage bed, his rants, uh, his rights as firstborn were given to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel, and so he could not be listed in the genealogical record in accordance with his birthright, and though Judea was the strongest of his brothers, and a ruler came from him. The rights of the firstborn belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok, Polo, Hezron, and Kermai, the descendants of Joel, Shemai, his son, Gog, his son, Shemaiah, his son, Machiah, his son, Reiah, his son, and Baal, his son, and Bera, his son, whom uh, Tagalath, Tagalath Pelezer, uh, king of Assyria, took into exile. Bera was a leader of the Reubenites. Their relatives by clans listed according to their genealogical records. Jael, the chief of Zechariah, and Bela, son of Ezai, the son of Shema, the son of Joel. They settled in the area from Aror to Nebo and Baal Menon. To the east, they occupied the land up to the edge of the desert that extends to the Euphrates River because their livestock had increased in Galilee, or Gilead, sorry. During Saul's reign, they waged war against the Hagarites and were defeated in their hand, uh, at their hands. They occupied the dwellings of the Hagites, Hagrites throughout the entire region east of Gilead. Gad. The Gadites lived near next to them in Bashan as far as Salaka. Joel was the chief. Shephim the second, then Janai the and Shephet in Bashan. Their relatives by families were Michael, Meshalun, Sheba, Jorai, Jechan, Ziah, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abihel, son of Hurrian, the son of Jorar, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshashai, 
the son of Jehado, the son of Buzz. Ahiah, son of Abedel, the son of Jenai, was heard or was head of their family. The Gedeites lived in Gilead, in Bashan, and its outlying villages, and on all the pasture lands of Sharon as far as they extended. Now all these were entered in the genealogical records during the reign of Jotham king of Judea and Jeroboam king of Israel. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manash had 44,760 men ready for military service, able-bodied men who could handle shield and sword, and who could use a bow, and who were trained for battle. They waged war against the Hegarites, Jetra, Nephish, and Nodab. They were helped in fighting them, and God delivered the Hagarites and all their allies into their hands, because they cried out to him during the battle. He answered their prayers because they trusted in him. They seized the livestock of the Hagarites, 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 donkeys. They also took 100,000 people captive and made others fall slain because the battle was God's and they occupied the land until the exile. The half-tribe of Manash, the people of the half-tribe of Manash were numerous. They settled in the land from Bashan to Mbala Harman, that is, to Sinir, Mount Hermon, or Mount Hermon. These were the heads of the, their families, Ephraim, Ishai, Elil, Ezreal, Jeremiah, Hadabiah, and Jehadiel. They were brave warriors, famous men, and heads of their families, but they were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors and prostituted themselves to the gods of the people of the land whom God had destroyed before them. And so the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Paul, king of Assyria, that is Teglath, Pilizer, king of Assyria, who took the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manesh into exile. He took them to Hala, Har, uh, Hebar, Hara, and the river of Gozan, where they are to this day. Levi, First Chronicles 6. The sons of Levi, Gerashon, Koath, and Merai. The sons of Koath, Amram, Izahar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Aram, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abuha, Elizur, and Ithamar. Elizur was the father of Phineas. Phineas, the father of Abishu, or A I'm sorry, Abishu, Abishua, Abishua, the father of Bukkai, uh, Bukkai, the father of Uzai, Uzai, the father of Zerahai, Zeraha, the father of Marioth, Marioth, the father of Amari, Amari. The father of ah, Ahiatub, Ahiatub, the father of Zadok, Zadok, the father of Ahimaz, Ahimaz, the father of 
Azariah, Azariah the father of Johanna, Johanna the father of Azariah, it was he who saved, uh, who served as priest in the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem. And the sons of Levi, Gershon, Koath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon, Libani, and Shimei, the sons of Koath, Amram, Izahar, uh, Hebron, and Uziel, the sons of Merai, Melchal, and Mushi. These are the clans of the Levites, listed according to their fathers. Of Gershon, Libani, his son, Jaha, his son, Zimha, his son, Joa, his son. Idio his son, Zerah his son, and Jethril his son, the descendants of Koath, Amandeb his son, Kara, I mean sorry, Kora, his son, Azera, uh, his son, Echalan, his son, Ebashaf, his son, Asiri, his son. Aleph, his son, Uriel, his son, Uzziah, his son, and Shal, his son, the descendants of Ek, uh, I'm sorry, Elkaniah, the sons of Elkaniah, are the descendants of Elkaniah, <laughs> First Chronicles 6, 25, Amaziah, uh, Ahamoth, Ek, uh, Elkanah, his son, Zophiah, his son, Nathan, his son, Eliab, his son, Jerom, his son, Elkanah, his son, and Samuel, his son, the sons of Samuel. Joel, the firstborn, and Abijah, the second son, the descendants of Moriah, Machali, Libani, his son, Shimi, his son, Zaha, his son, Shimiah, his son, Haggai, his son, and Asia, his son, the temple musicians. These are the men David put in charge of the music in the house of the Lord after the ark came to rest there. They ministered with music before the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, until Solomon built the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. They performed their duties according to the regulations laid down for them. Here are the men who served together with their sons. From the Kohothites, Heman the musician, the son of Joel, the son of Samuel, the son of El Elkahana, the son of Jeraham, the son of Ithi uh, Iliath, Iliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elna. El Elkanah, the son of Manath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tehath, the son of Asir, the son of Ebisath, the son of Korah. And uh, the son of Izar, the son of Kahath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Haman's associate Asaph, who served at his right hand. Asaph, son of Berechiah, the son of Shimia, the son of Michael, the son of Besiah, the son of Mil 
Michalajah, the son of Ethanai, the son of Zerah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zemiah, the son of Shimi, the son of Jothan, uh, uh, Joath, sorry, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi. And from their associates, the Meritites, at the, his left hand. Ethan, son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malaluk, the son of Heshbiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hekekiah. Not sure exactly where I left off. Um, uh, we'll, we'll get in here at 46. Uh, First Chronicles 6, 46. The son of Amazai, the son of Benai, the son of Shemer, the son of Mahalai, the son of Mushi, the son of Merai, the son of Levi. The, follow, the fellow Levites were assigned to all the other duties of the tabernacle, the house of God. But Aaron and his de descendants were the ones who presented offerings on the altar of burnt offerings and on the altar of incense in connection with all that was done in the most holy place, me making orna uh, atonement for Israel. In accordance with that, all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. These were the descendants of Aaron. Eleazar, his son, Phineas, his son, Abishan, his son, Mbuki, his son, Uzi, his son, Zarahiah, his son, Marioth, his son, Amariah, his son, Ahatub, his son, Zadok, his son, and Amehamez, his son. These were the locations of their settlements allotted as their territories. They were assigned to the descendants of Aaron, who were from the Kohothite clan, because the first lot was for them. They were given Hebron in Judea, with its surrounding pasture lands, but the fields and villages around the city were given to Caleb, son of Jephunian. So the descendants of Aaron were given Hebron, a city of refuge, and Libana, uh, Jetar, Eshtonoma, Helena, Debrai, Ashen, Jehada, Je, uh, and Beth Shemesh together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Benjamin, there they were given Gibeon, and Geba, Alameth, and Anathoth, together with their pasture lands. The total number of towns distributed among the Kohothites clans came to 13. The rest of Kohath's descendants were allotted 10 towns from the clans of half the tribe of Manash. The descendants of Gerashan, clan by clan, were allotted thirteen towns from the tribes of Eskara, Asher, and Nephtali, and from the part of the tribe of Manash, that is, in Bashan. The descendants of Marriott, clan by clan, were allotted twelve towns from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites gave the Levites these towns and their pasture lands from the tribes of Judea, Simon, and Benjamin. They allotted the privacy. Uh, the they allotted the previously named towns. Some of the Kothites clan were given as their territory towns from the tribe of Ephraim. I'm sorry, Ephraim. In the hill country of Ephraim, they were given 
Sheshem, a city of refuge, and Gezer, Jochum, Beth Hara, uh, Ajalon, and Gath Rimon, together with their pasture lands. And from the half tri- of the tribe of Manash, the Israelites gave Aaron, Aner and Belim, together with their pasture lands, to the rest of the Catholic clans. The Gerashonites received the following. From the clan of the half-tribe of Manash, they received Golan and Bishan, and also Ashatroth, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Iskara, they received Kadesh, Deborah, Ramoth, and Anam, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Asher, they received Mashal, uh, uh, Abdanan, uh, Hukah, and Rahab, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Naphtali, they received Kadesh in Galilee, Haman, and Herakathim, together with their pasture lands. The Marianites, rest of the Levites, received the following. From the tribe of Zebulun, they received Jeconium, Kurita, Rimeon, and Tabor, together with their pasture lands. From the tribe, uh, uh, tribe of Reuben, across the Jordan, east of Jericho, they received, received Bezer in the wilderness, Jehazah, uh, Kedemoth, and Meth, uh, Meth, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Gad, they received Ramoth in Gilead, Mahanium, Hashmon, and Jazir, together with their pasture lands. First Chronicles 4-6 through 6 is concluded. Now we will be turning to John 6, 1. So... John 6, 1. Okay. Jesus feeds the 5,000. John 6. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is, the Sea of Tiberias, And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside, and he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than a half year's wages to buy enough bread for each one of one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? And Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in the place, and they sat down. (laughs) About 5,000 men were there. Sorry, here we go. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and he distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. And when they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over, and let nothing be wasted. And so they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. 
After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who has come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. Jesus walks on the water. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into the boat, and they set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet And Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters got, grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened, because... Uh, but he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. And then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. And that was John 6, 1 through 21, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering 1 Chronicles 7 through 9 and John 6, 22 through 44. Father, I just thank you for your word. And uh, so... Because without your word, I could not be a messenger of your word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2022. Please share. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.